Hey y'all, so today I wanted to go over how to actually enter and exit trades um, on TradingView, whether in paper trading or using a brokerage. Um, so first I want to start off with paper trading. Here's how I do it. There are a bunch of different ways you can enter and exit trades. Um, you start by going to the trade panel and then logging into paper trading like I just did. Um, and then I like to enter trades using the plus sign on the right hand side of your screen. So I click this and then buy to or sell to. So if you're going long, you would click buy. And then this screen will pop up. Uh, this is basically your order screen. So units is where you change the number of contracts. So if you want one, you click the one. If you want five, you click five. And then you wanna check your take profit and your stop loss. This is how you set up your automatic entry and exit um, based on stop or based on uh, take profit. So this calculates in ticks. So 40 ticks would be 10 points. It'll tell you the price that you'd be exiting at, and it'll tell you the price, um, how much it costs in dollars, and the percent of your account. Um, let's say you wanted to get out at 20 ticks in profit, and you wanted to risk 10 ticks. Don't recommend this, but um, you would put 10 and 20, and then we have our price at 5, and you would click this. And now you can see that there are three orders placed. The market is closed, so these aren't going to execute. Um, but you have a buy limit in, and you have a sell for a take profit. It tells you the dollar amount that you make. And a stop loss, how much you would lose. Um, one thing that is good to note, let's say you want to take a partial. So if we were in long five contracts right here. And before it gets up here, we want to take a partial at 40.10. Um, to do that, you have to place another limit order. Um, if you're using trade of eight or any brokerage, if you're using paper trading, you can click the X and it'll say partial exit or partial. I think it's partial fill, something like that. And you can specify how many you want to take off. But if you're trading through a brokerage or like, for example, when I'm trading my funded account or my own account, which is through trade of eight, um, I can't do that. So you have to set a limit order to get out of your position. So at 40, 10, if I wanted to take off three, I'd click sell, even though it says five. We're gonna edit that. I would take off three, and now I have an order to sell three before it gets up there and take partials and pay myself. Now, let's say that this three executes, right? So we take off three, we now have two left. If you're trading a funded account or through Trade of Eight, you have to go back and edit your original orders because this will stay five. So if you take off three, and then you come up here and you sell five and you only have two on, it's gonna put you in short three contracts, which has happened to me a few times. So do not forget to change your original order um, brackets. So if you take off three, and let's just get rid of this and say we took off three, we're, we're only long two at this point. So you need to come in here and change this to two. Um, that's how I take partials. Uh, now I would love for it to automatically update to my existing orders, but it doesn't. Um, in paper trading, it will, but in a funded account or a brokerage account, it will not. So you have to change your original order. Otherwise, you're going to be in the position going the other way uh, with the difference of the number of contracts <laughs> that you took off. It's very easy to, to trade on trade, uh, TradingView. I love it. Um, paper trading is easier. The contracts will automatically adjust, like I said. But if you're logged in through a brokerage, they will not adjust. So do not forget to go back and edit that. And like I said, selling short, you click sell. Let's say we want to short 10 contracts on the MES, which is equivalent to one uh, mini contract. Take profit usually is 10 points. For me, about nine times out of 10, I would risk anywhere from six to 10. Um, so let's just say 25 ticks. Put it in, now I'll be short for it at 40.11. My take profit's down here, my stop loss is here. If I wanna take partials on a sell, I need to buy it back because I'm selling. So I sold 10 contracts and to get out of my position, I have to buy 10 contracts. So if I wanna take five off, I put five, buy five. So this would take five off here. And then if I'm in a funded account or if I'm in trade bait or any other brokerage, I'm gonna go back and edit my orders once my partial fills and change it to the correct number of contracts that we still have. So I would change this to five, I would change my stop to five. Now if you're in paper trading, you take five off, this will automatically update, like I said. But if you're not paper trading, it will not automatically update. And, and that's how I take partials. Um, that's how I enter and exit. Some people enter and exit via these market orders, sell market, buy market. I don't typically do that. Um, I only sell or buy market if I'm looking to get out of a position like immediately. Um, and don't really care, you know, 
tick fluctuations. If not, I will just let my limit orders work. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, until next time, be safe, happy trading, uh, and see you guys later.